Okay, let's look at how to set up your home Wi-Fi. This is one of the your common thing everybody does at home. Uh, so I'm going to use a consumer grade router. Links is um, EA6900 router uh, for this explanation. So what you have to do is so in the back of the router there are two different kind of ports. One is a WAN port, one is a LAN port. So WAN port is just a one port that normally uh, will be in a yellow color. The WAN port um, will be around four of them. That's a group of port. Normally it's a, a blue color uh, a group of ports. So you need to do the cabling first. So when you do the cabling, what you have to do is you connect an Ethernet cable into the yellow WAN port and uh, other end you connect to your uh, router you uh, actually it's a modem modem a WAN port and then take another Ethernet cable and then connect that to the one of the LAN port and then uh, other end goes into your computer uh, NIC uh, network interface card All right, so after that what will happen is your personal router will assign an IP using a DHCP by default to your computer. So um, normally that is you know starting in 192.168.11 depending on the brand. So how to look at that IP is so IP so you use so I just opened this command prompt so you go here you type CMD that's uh, abbreviation for command prompt and then click there and then type in IP C O N F I G IP config All right. so and you have to look at the right IP there will be a lot of information there and then you have to look at your Ethernet adapter IP address uh, it's normally you know 192.168 um, you know 11 one is the gateway so we are looking at the gateway IP that is your router uh, management IP um, so here if you see your IP is 192.168.1.147 the gateway is uh, 192.168.11 um, and uh, there will be other one if you see 169 that is a self-assigned IP it's not going to take you anywhere All right. so what you have to do is go here and then type in 192 on the browser you open a browser and type in 192.168 dot one one right and then here all right so you will get the Wi-Fi setup page and then what you have to do is you say I accept and then it will take you to the next page so yeah it's kind of a little sometimes the configuration take uh, a little longer so you have to be patient all right let's see you see you can see what it is doing like a loading uh, for an update update for your router so keep current with the latest performance and security updates for your router install future router update automatically recommended right so you can check this one so it will automatically install the patches for you so to c keep it up up to date All right, so and then I go there all right, so now it's asking me uh, network name so there will be two different names so you have two channels two band 2.4 gig uh, band and 5 gig band it's a gigahertz right 5 gig and 2.4 gig bands uh, you can select the same name for both of them um, or you can select different names if you select uh, both band the same name your dev device will determine to which band uh, it's need to connect uh, so your device will make the decision All right. so what I'm going to do I'm going to make two different one here so let's see I uh, say welcome to my welcome to my home that's my uh, Wi-Fi ID and then it will automatically put 
welcome to my home 5 gig so the the first one means 2.4 uh, make all network names the same so you can do by clicking this way right and then uh, your password it will you know select a random password uh, but make sure you do you know your own one so you can remember it very well so I would say um, capital wells C O M E uh, welcome one two three right welcome one two three so it says your your dual band router allows you to set up um, two networks 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and you can learn more on that I already mentioned uh, that before uh, so I okay I put the Wi-Fi name already all right so and then updating wireless settings we have to be a little patient here alright so uh, create a router password alright so this is to access this router administrative page it's normally this routers has a you know a default password that you can google it and find out like every brand has their own default password and every uh, most of the model have their default password normally that is admin admin so what I'm going to do is create your password I'm going to do the same password uh, but uh, so I would say uh, uh, Apple TRW so don't do the same one Apple tree one two three right uh, the uh, Wi-Fi password is um, welcome one two three Apple three one two three is to get into your router configuration so don't confuse these two passwords together so all your Wi-Fi devices connect using the you know welcome one two three password right so if you happen to go to this administrative page again you have to put this password again Apple three one two three but the best practice is you write down this password uh, somewhere right so here it is so it's it's give you uh, you know an overview of your password make sure you take a picture or take a print out of it and then you can you know just um, you know you could use this uh, snipping tool and then you just this one and go to word and then you paste this one in the word right and then you know save it save it somewhere or oh, you know uh, this PC desktop my Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi password right All right, so it's done so just take print out and you good to go right, All right so and then you go here well, create your Linksys smart Wi-Fi account so I would say no thanks here so you have a lot of benefits uh, creating this one access to, uh, so it has access to your home network even you are away from home apps and all kind of things just you can read it all right um, so and then all right so now you are here right so now you have come to uh, you know the end of the configuration you see here and um, uh, these are these are all your summary so network is now connected and uh, so your wireless name uh, device list local whatever it is okay all right and then guest so what happened is guest access is on so welcome to my home guest right so it's automatically put the name as uh, welcome to my home guest and then it's only enabled 2.4 gig because you know 5 gig is the fastest uh, one but it travels short distance so when your devices are 
close by to your router it will use 5 gig to connect to it when you are a little away from uh, your router you will be connecting to 2.4 gig say you are working in a backyard you want to listen a podcast uh, podcast on your iPhone you most probably be connected to 2.4 gig right so it enabled the you know guest Wi-Fi but I just want to show you where you know uh, guest access go to guest access and then you can you can limit total number of guests allowed five or whatever it is right minimum is uh, five and then you can even edit the guest Wi-Fi and even you can enable five uh, gigahertz uh, guest Wi-Fi and then the password is cranberry 93 it's put automatically but you can change it all right uh, say my you my guest right you put my guest uh, my guest one two three right all right so you have both of them enabled right and then okay apply changes okay okay if you see here it's applying changes at the same time you see things have changed here all right so and then you know um, you have uh, you know other settings that you can do but I will cover in my second video uh, in detail uh, um, you know about advanced uh, configuration settings all right thanks for watching the video hope this helps you and please like this video and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye.